Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon. So in today's video, I thought we would do a slight recap of what has all been going on in the Ghost Recon franchise over the last few months. I know it's been a while since I've actually had content here up on the channel, but I have been brainstorming on how I could kind of bring some more content back to the channel. But we're going to be going back down through some things that the Ghost Recon official Twitter has been saying over the last few months possibly hinting at a new Ghost Recon title being in development. Along with it, I kind of wanted to explain some things that maybe you guys have not heard about with the status of Delta Company and a few other things that I've kind of heard rumblings of behind the scenes. So that is what we're going to be talking about here in today's video. I am glad to be back. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to stagger some content here soon to actually bring some more content back to the channel. I might be going back doing some playthroughs and stuff of the older Ghost Recon games. Maybe figuring out a way to play some of the really old Ghost Recon games here on the channel. Let me know if you guys would like to see that down in the comments. But first things first, I wanted to address the Delta Company situation. For those of you guys that may not have heard by now, um, the Delta Company itself has been dissolved. The Delta Company program no longer exists. They basically kind of told us about this, I want to say it was back in May, April or May, they kind of told us that they were going to be dissolving the Delta Company program. I personally don't think it was able to, you know, be fully fleshed out and be used as the way it was intended to be used. Um, I think there was too many people in it that it turned more into a PR program rather than an actual feedback program. And I'm not throwing any shade at anybody that has anything to do with Delta Company, any of the developers or anything like that. But I feel like if they would have went back to the old school, like breakfast club style, you know, community program like they had with Ghost Recon Wildlands, um, I know a number of people that were actually involved with that. And I think if they would have taken that approach with the Delta Company program, it would have succeeded. You would have got more feedback. You would have got better changes and stuff. Um, before it was too late to make those changes, especially when it came to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Um, but they did, they officially dissolved the program. Um, and I know technically I'm still under NDA, but there really isn't anything like behind the scenes that I can talk about. I don't have access to the Discord anymore. The Discord has been deleted. Um, I have absolutely no direct contact really um, with any of the developers, any of the community managers, other than trying to reach out to them through like a Discord DM or like a Twitter DM. I don't really have a direct connection to any of those community managers like I did when I was in Delta Company. Um, they are going to be rolling that program, so to speak, into the star player program. So if you are a Ubisoft star player, you will technically kind of have access to, um, you know, mainline communication with the developers. And moving forward, if you get accepted into the Ubisoft star player program, that's going to be where a lot of that's going to be happening through those channels. Um, instead of doing a dedicated program like Delta Company that really didn't succeed. Um, and I don't blame that on me or any other members that were in the program itself. I think Breakpoint was kind of a bad title. Um, it, had, it launched bad. It took a long time to get the things changed that really needed to be changed. And because of that, Delta Company kind of failed. And I know there's a number of community members out there that blame um, a lot of the bad things that happened with Ghost Recon on Delta Company. But as a Delta Company member, I really didn't have a lot of say in anything that was, you know, transpiring behind the scenes with the development process. I kind of got, you know, put into like a test a few weeks or so before a content drop and I got to get early access to it and was able to bring that to you guys here on the YouTube channel. Um, we did have some some several things that we did pull from the community and um, illustrated that to the developers and some of those things were instituted into the game. Hopefully they use some of that feedback in a future Ghost Recon title. And that leads me to probably one of the last things that they said on the Discord before it was shut down. And that was that there isn't any more content coming to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. They wanted to thank us and all the community members for their input and stuff like that when it came to the development process of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. But they wanted to move in a different direction away from Delta Company and the fact that they were done developing content for Ghost Recon Breakpoint they wanted to concentrate on the future of the Ghost Recon franchise. So from an outside looking in to that, from my perspective, I feel like they are definitely working on another mainline Ghost Recon title. Um, we obviously had Project Over that kind of got leaked and stuff with um, the NVIDIA thing that went back. This was a long time ago, honestly, by now. 
Um, but we do have some rumblings that they are working on something. I don't have any inside information. I have honestly no idea what could be being worked on behind the scenes. Also, there was a leak that actually came out not too long ago that stated that Ghost Recon Frontline, which was the first person battle royale style game, um, had officially been canceled. Um, all development on it had been ceased. I have no idea if that is actually, that was never officially announced, I don't believe, by Ubisoft. I can't remember if it was or not, but that game looks to see like it will never see the light of day, I guess you could say. Um, but I think with Ubisoft and, you know, uh, Ubisoft Paris, Ubisoft as a brand and the Tom Clancy brand, I do believe they are cooking up something in the background for us to play. Um, I think they're going to take a little bit of a leave of absence, like basically what it was from Ghost Recon Future Soldier to Ghost Recon Wildlands. Um, I think that was roughly five years between those two games. Um, currently, we're sitting about, I think, what, three years? Uh, three years next month from like the actual launch of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So honestly, I was a little bit you know, disappointed that we didn't hear anything at the Ubisoft Forward the other day. Um, we got some cool Assassin's Creed information. We got some Tom Clancy's Division information, but we didn't get anything surrounding the Ghost Recon franchise. Maybe we will see something between now and the holidays. Um, and if they don't do that, maybe we'll see something at E3 next year. Um, but I definitely feel like there is something in development. I did hear a couple of rumblings about the possibility of some books, some Ghost Recon books maybe being written um, that are going to tie into a future Ghost Recon title along with something to do with the Splinter Cell franchise, maybe a tie in between those two franchises um, with books and then also being instituted into a video game series. Um, but only time will tell that that isn't like unconfirmed on anything. Um, I was just kind of hearing some rumblings of that. Um, but overall, I do want to be bringing some new content here to the channel, but I kind of wanted to give you guys an update on everything that I have heard with the Ghost Recon franchise currently. Um, and then obviously my status with Delta Company being dissolved and everything like that. Um, you know, I'm just another Joe Schmo that makes YouTube videos. I really don't have any tie-ins with, uh, with the development team anymore, um, being the fact that the Delta Company program no longer exists. I would really like to be a part of the star player program. It's something that I've been aspiring to be in for several years. Um, I personally feel like I should have been in the class of 2019 um, with Carbon Meister and Fox Zero and Cat and all those um, really cool content creators and stuff. I really felt like I should have been a part of that group. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be and I'm, I'm still not a star player. And uh, with the dissolving of the Delta Company program, I really don't have any attachment to the, uh, the developers. Um, any communication with those guys or anything like that. But hopefully we will get some news very, very soon. Until then, I do plan on doing a few Tactical Roundtable podcasts with G-Money Mozart. I plan on bringing that back, talking about some tactical shooters, talking about Ghost Recon, um, and just kind of chilling and talking with you guys as a Ghost Recon community to keep this community thriving and uh, keeping everybody kind of tight-knit and uh, with the future of the franchise kind of in the hanging in the balance, the unknown um, I do feel like there's definitely something on the horizon, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I know this was kind of a non-formal video. I kind of just rattled, um, but this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I kind of wanted to touch base with you guys again, give you guys all the information that I currently have about Ghost Recon, um, and then obviously with Delta Company and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see some new content coming to the channel very, very soon, like me, uh, make sure to drop a like on the video and I will hope to see you guys very, very soon. But until then, thank you all so much for tuning in and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.